Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how you can list and update settings with the Power Platform CLI. There are multiple settings you can list and update with the CLI, but today I will focus on tenant settings and environment settings. Let's go to my desktop to show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and the things I want to show you is I want to show you the admin commands. So let me run pack admin help to show you them. And today we are going to focus on a couple of them. We are going to focus on the ones that are listed right here because we are going to talk about the tenant settings. And later on, I will also talk about the environment settings. But in this case, we're going to talk about the list tenant settings and the update tenant settings. So let's first start with pack admin list tenant settings. It's a pretty long command, but when you run this, it will show you a JSON output of what the current tenant settings are. And there are a bunch of tenant settings available. You can see, for instance, disable environment creation by non-admin users. When you set this to true, it will only be available for admins and that's the recommended feature. We have a whole bunch of other ones as well. Disable trial environment creation by non-admin users. So if you don't want people to create trial environments, you can set this to true. And there are a bunch of others as well. And I would advise you to go look at these. There are so many features here already uh, that you can use and that you can benefit from. But I want to show you something else as well, because uh, in the, oh, sorry, I typed it wrong. Let's do pack admin list tenant settings. And when I run help, I can actually see that there is also a pr parameter called settings file. And this will allow me to save the JSON file with all the tenant settings. So this will make it way easier for me to kind of um, export the settings file and then import that with the update tenant settings. So let's go work on that. And let's run the um, pack admin list tenant settings. And let's use settings file here. And in this case, we are gonna export tenant settings.json. This file doesn't exist yet. So when I run this, it will create this file in the folder that I'm currently in. So C dev tenant settings.json, that will be the file. And I'm already in C dev. So what I can do here is I can create code and then use um, the command here to um, actually open the tenant settings.json. And what we can see here is the exact file that was the output that we showed in the terminal. So this will be this whole file or this whole thing that we printed out here will be in this file as well. So. I already talked a little bit about disabling the environment creation by non-admin users. Let's change this to true and save this file. Now I'm going to the admin center because I want to show you that uh, these settings are also available in the admin center. Most of them at least, there are a bunch of settings still in uh, the Power Platform CLI command that aren't available in here. But as we look here, um, we can select this one and that's the production environment assignments. And that shows who can create and manage the production environments. And in this case, it says everyone. So let's close this down and go update the tenant settings. And in this case, we have to change a little bit because we can um, change the command to update tenant settings instead of list tenant settings. And I, of course, want to add a settings file as well. And that's going to be tenant settings.json. When I run this, it will update it and it will output the new settings file that we have here. Uh, it won't update the, uh, the settings file, of course, because we already did that in VS Code. But here is the whole JSON output that uh, is there. 
And it also shows that the tenant settings are updated successfully. And I always want to check that. So let's go back to the Power Platform Admin Center, refresh this page, and then we can see with the production environment assignment that it's only specific admins. So this is how you can set those tenant settings. Let's talk about the environment settings now. When you run pack and help, you can see all the commands that are in the pack environment group. And we are going to show you today two of them. So here we are. List settings and update settings are the ones that I'm going to talk about today. But before I run them, let's go back to the Power Platform Admin Center and show you how it works in the UI. You can go to environments and then you can go to environment settings. You have a button here called settings. When you select that one, you will see all the different environment settings that are available. There are a whole lot, and I'll show you that in the terminal in a little bit as well. But if you expand on the product group and you click on features, there's one feature that I really, really, really want to show. And that's the one right here the Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas Apps. There is a setting here called Allow Publishing of Canvas Apps with Code Components, and that's by default, it's turned off, and I want to enable that. So how do I do that? I can simply click on this one and save it, and then it is enabled. But sometimes you also want to do um, a setup for, of a, an environment through the CLI, because you can do that through a script. And that's why I'm showing this. So if I want to turn this on, I can go back to my terminal and I can first run the pack-env list settings command. And when I do that, I get a whole lot of settings. As I already told you, there are a bunch of them and this is not the most useful overview. So what's also in this command, and that's something that I also want to show you, is that you can uh, use another parameter. Oh, settings. And let's run the help command here. And there's a filter parameter. So what we can do here is filter on certain settings that we want to check, for instance. In here, I want to... Uh, use the is custom controls in canvas apps enabled because that's the feature that we just saw and if i want to filter on that i can just use the filter command and i can do a run of that and then it will show me only the one setting so if you want to filter on certain things, it can help to have a filter at least. In this case, we want to, of course, update the setting as well. So what we can do then is we can run the pack env update settings command. Let's run the help of that. And there are two parameters. We can use the name of the setting and we can use the value. So in this case, I want to run the pack env and then use update settings dash dash name. And we're gonna use the is custom controls in canvas apps enabled, and we're gonna use a value. And it's kind of difficult to understand, but there are some things that you need to know about the value. In this case, it says is custom controls in canvas apps enabled to and the value is set to no. If you want to update this, you need to do it with true and false for the yes, no values. So in this case, I want to set it to true. And when I run that, it will update the setting for me. And then it also gives me back uh, the uh, text setting is com custom controls in Canvas app enabled, updated successfully to true. But if I want to check that, I can use the pack env list settings again with the filter and use that command 
to see if it's really set to yes. And in this case, the value is yes. So when you update true false settings, always use true false and not yes, no. Um, it's a little bit confusing when you uh, list them, but uh, this is one of the features I wanted to show you. And that brings us to the end of this video. I added the links to the description below so you can read more about these commands. See you in the next video. Bye bye.